Hi, my name's Jonathan Jones. I'm with Marietta Toyota. I'm here today to show you how to operate your Bluetooth on this 2015 Highlander. For those of you who are not familiar with Bluetooth and how it works, it, Bluetooth is a technology that allows your phone and the vehicle to communicate with each other, allowing you to make hands-free phone calls through the vehicle. Um, it is, allows you to make safer phone calls, it allows you to communicate, um, receive phone calls, make phone calls, all while keeping your hands on the steering wheel. All you have to do is sync your phone to it. And I like. Let's start with the basic controls of the Bluetooth system. Obviously, your vehicle may not, may differ from this vehicle. This is a 2015 Highlander. It may differ, but the controls for the Highlander are as such. You have your beginning phone call button here. Your ending phone button, ending phone call button here, and this is your voice command button here. You also have your volume controls on the steering wheel as well. You also have a built-in microphone in the vehicle. Every vehicle is different, but the Highlanders is right here in the co overhead console. And as well as you have controls on the audio system via the push button controls. And then the next step we would have is to sync your phone, actual phone to it. Before you can start using your Bluetooth system, you actually have to program it or pair your phone and the vehicle together. In order to do that, you would have to select the icon that says the phone. It's just a little phone icon up in the top right hand corner. On your vehicle, it may be somewhere different. Here on the Highlander, it's in the top right hand button. Once you select that, it will actually prompt you on your next step. This particular uh, step says there are no phones paired, would you like to add one now? And you would select yes. By doing so, you are actually telling the vehicle to start searching for your phone uh, through its Bluetooth system. So the next step would actually be to access your phone Bluetooth system. And by accessing it, you would go to your setups, most likely in your settings, and find your Bluetooth, and you would turn it on. Once you turn it on, you would actually access uh, select it and then hit scan. And this is going to allow your phone to communicate with the vehicle and they're going to search for each other. Once the vehicle is found, it will show. See right here it says Toyota Highlander. And what you would do is tap on that and that's telling your phone to pair with the, the automobile. And then the next prompt is your phone actually asking you if you want to, want to pair with the vehicle and you would select OK or Yes, whichever your phone does. And now we are successfully paired. The next step, what's going to happen is your audio system, your vehicle is going to communicate with your phone. And it's going to prompt you, or do you want to allow the Highlander permission to connect to your phone and download the vehicle? And you would hit yes. Once you do that, it's going to start downloading your contacts and it's also going to pair with the vehicle's audio system, allowing you to play music and such through your vehicle. And then when you would hit OK when that's done, and then it goes into the contact list. It's going to take a few seconds, uh, up to a minute, depending on how many contacts. It can vary depending on how many you have in there. Once it's downloaded, your phone's going to ask you if you want to allow it to have access to the contact list. You would say yes, and now you have downloaded successfully your contacts. So now that we've actually synced and paired our phone, uh, you no longer have to keep it out in the open where you can see it. You can store it in the vehicle storage compartment. You can put it in your purse. You can put keep it in your wallet. I mean, excuse me, not in your wallet, in your pocket. You, or you can just lay it up in a convenient slot in the vehicle where it's a, wherever you would like to put it. Let's look at making phone calls and receiving phone calls from the vehicle's controls. Obviously, if you're driving down the road, you have your hands on your steering wheel. You don't want to have to look at your phone to make a phone call. You no longer have to with this system. In order to, the easiest way to make a phone call is via the voice command button. And that button is right here. It's got the voice icon uh, on it. And you would just press it. Once you press it, you'll get a auto, auto audio sound uh, lady or gentleman coming on asking you what you would like to do. I will go ahead and do that now just so you can hear their voice. How may I help you? Call Austin. Calling the mobile number for Austin.
Now, obviously, I didn't go with the phone through the phone call just because I don't want to occupy somebody's time on the other end of making a phone call. But obviously, it's voice command. You press the button to voice command. You listen for the voice to come on, and then there'll be a beep. After that beep, you tell her what you want them to do. You say, call and the person that's in your contact list. The person you're calling has to be in your contact list or you can actually say the number that you want to call. Once it'll go through its system and make the phone call for you, you can hang up on the phone call by using the end phone call icon here or I call it the ignore button or hang up button, whichever you want to use. If you do receive a phone call, they will actually come up on the screen as the person calling you. You'll see the phone number if it's not in your system, in your contacts. If it is in your contacts, it'll actually say the name, allowing you to answer with the answer button here. By pushing it, you get answer the phone call and you talk normally. Your speaker's up here. You don't have to shout. You don't have to stand up there and look at the microphone. It takes you as you're driving down the road. Once you're finished with the phone call, you press the ignore button and you're done. Let's look at making a phone call to someone who's not in our contact list. The easiest way I can tell you to do it is you would push the phone like the voice command button and when you're prompted after the beep, you would say the number concisely and in single digits. And I'll show you how to do that now. What would you like to do? Dial number. Which phone number would you like to call? 770-422-1490. I heard 770-422-1490. If this is correct, say call. If this is not correct, you can add or delete digits or start over. Call. Calling 770 770- Four two two one four nine zero. Thank you for calling, Marietta Toyota and Zion. This is Judy. Hello, I've done warranty. How may I help you? Hi, Judy. This is Jonathan across the street. I'm just calling to show somebody how to use our uh, Bluetooth system. Thanks. Uh huh. And then you would press the hang up button once you're done with the phone call. Obviously, I mean, if you get a phone call and the system's not, uh, the number's not in your contact list, it'll show you up here on the icon, up on your display, the phone number. So you can actually choose whether you want to accept that phone call or not. And if it is in your contacts, you'll see their name right up there and you can actually ignore them or you can answer them via the controls on your steering wheel. And that way, while you're driving down the road, you can keep looking at the traffic and drive normally and you can answer and phone, make phone calls from your steering wheel. Now that I've shown you how to pair your phone to the vehicle and actually make phone calls and receive phone calls, I just wanted to let you know that you can actually pair up to five phones on your given system. Uh, however, you can only have one active any given time. That means active is where you can actually make phone calls and receive phone calls through the system. You can only have one at a time. Now, if you purchase another phone, you're going to have to re-sync or repair, uh, repair your phone to the vehicle. Now, let's talk about, let's say, if you want to upgrade, or not upgrade, but update your contacts. You would actually have to go in and actually, re if you're already paired, you just have to go into the phone icon and pull it up and you would go to your settings button, button, excuse me, and you would go to your contacts list. And in the contact list, it has all of the default icons to use, and you would go to the update contacts, and then that would communicate with your phone. Obviously, you're gonna have to tell your phone to accept the update or to talk to the, your system again, and that's gonna download your contacts that you just updated. If you put new friends in or you took friends out, or whatever you took business contacts you would want to do that that way you make sure your phone contact list in your car is the same that's on your phone 
That way you won't miss an important phone call or you might want to ignore somebody. You want to make sure that number is in there so you'll be know who it is. Again, my name's Jonathan Jones at Marietta Toyota. Thanks for being with me in this video, a short video of how to sync your Bluetooth in the Bluetooth system of the Toyotas. I know there's a lot more to cover in the systems and, and all with the particular phones, with your particular vehicle. Give me a call, number 770-422-1490, and I'll be more than happy to go over them with you. Thank you.